This is like Faz. Um, more realistic, you could say. Probably more realistic. Like, it's slower paced. And it, instead of, like, the video game approach, it goes for, like, a real ghost hunting approach. So, like, the ghost can't kill you. And it just focuses on more, like, realistic type paranormal things happening. Um, so yeah, you'll see. You'll see. If you stick around, you'll see. Make sure you watch the very end to figure out what happens. Anyways, um, let's check my emails. So that, yeah, it's uh, basically a ghost hunting simulator. This is what I finished off with uh, yesterday. I took the notes. So this is the notes we need to figure out what ghost it is. Yes, you can take notes. I'm not going to read the email again, but uh. Let me fill these up with batteries. Alright. Where were they? Polk Street. Yes. Alright, you guys can hear the audio, right? It's loud enough. Hopefully. The Lorentz have a bit of contrast within their family about their home being haunted. It's interesting that Max is not convinced, yet the rest of his family is concerned. He also didn't provide any information stating he debunked their concerns. Sometimes skeptics just want to dispute everything. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. All right. So, yeah. There's my truck and stuff, but uh, I'm going inside now. I'm having some frame drops. That just turned off my monitor. That's better. Okay. So what are my notes? Crying in the living room. Shadow in the hallway. Boy in the bedroom. Elderly man in the kitchen. Whole family. Changes in temperatures and something falling from shelves in garage. Okay. Whoa, okay, that was definitely paranormal. Just dropped down to 13 there. What was it? Something in the kitchen. Elderly man. Oh. Anything in the garage. Oh, that scared me. I thought this was something else. They like playing the piano? Yeah.
One sec. There's one in here. Okay, it's pretty cold in here. Okay. Well, at least this home design is slightly better than the previous one. <laughs> Who's got an Xbox? Oh, this is uh, paranormal. Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. Epic setup, yeah, totally. Last setup was even better. There wasn't even a PC or Xbox or anything. Well, he can. It's pretty big. Just a monitor. Just a monitor without wires, and keyboard, and oh, that's whoa, whoa, that dropped like crazy. There's definitely a ghost in here. I just need to get the evidence. Thanks for the look, guys. Appreciate it. Courage. This gives you enough, right? Yeah. This is. <laughs> This is why it's realistic. Electronics give EMF single if signals. This is not paranormal. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. But there was definitely a lot of temperature changes here. Didn't manage to get enough time. There we go. There we go. Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. These codes about seem, don't seem to make sense. I should continue investigating these. Happens. What about EMF? So, what else was there? Crying in the living room. Shadow in the hallway. Boy in bedroom. Elderly man in kitchen. Pretty sure this is where the boy would be, right? I'm hearing creaking here. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Am I just recording? Because I'm not saying anything. I'm guessing it counts. Oh, that's awesome. So it just records by itself if I just do this. But I can also talk to it like this. Um. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here? Who would like to speak with me? Can you tell me your name? Can you 
tell me your name? I wonder if webcam will work this time. Forgot I was streaming without it. One second, ghost. It's not glitched. What what is going on here? Okay. Um Yeah, perfect. Boy in bedroom. Temperatures, what? Stream died. Wait, actually, what just happened? Um, hello? Usually, um, Twitch hello? mutes me after stream dies, but it seems it's like it's fine. Okay. I heard a voice. Welcome back. I should welcome back myself, I guess, since I crashed. Um. No, this is not paranormal. Why are you investigating only non-paranormal stuff? What was that? I heard something. There shouldn't be anything in the basement. There shouldn't be. But I heard something. There's always something in the basement. But yeah, my notes say... Elderly man in the kitchen. Oh! Boy in bedroom. Boy in bedroom found. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are okay. definitely paranormal. Just need some EMF. And a photo. Anyways, let me read my notes. Crying in the living room. Have not heard that. Shadow in the hallway. Have not seen that. Boy in the bedroom. Check. Elderly man in the kitchen. Have not seen him, but we, we did hear him. Changes in temperatures, check, and falls from shelf in the garage. No, nothing here. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Okay, maybe there are stuff falling from shelves in the garage. Oh. It's not that this is. Uh, 
elderly man in the kitchen. Did he say he's hungry? Can you show yourself? I did speak too soon. Let me see if I can find some more lore. A photo. Why is there bread in here still? You don't mind if I turn on the lights? Um. <gasps> wow, I, I took a photo of a ghost. Okay, we just need some EMF. Okay, th maybe this game is a little bit scary. Maybe. <laughs> that other dude was making sandwich. Leave the poor guy alone. <laughs> maybe some uh, some scrambled eggs with bread and butter. Sorry. I want to find some more lore though. What is that? These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. Okay, I just need some more EMF evidence and we should be good, bro. Oh, that's so sad. So yeah, I've said this before, but um, this the ghost in this game remind me of uh, the album I Didn't Mean to Haunt You. Um, just like the state they're in, it really gives off the same vibe. But there is a, a whole family of ghosts in here. I don't even know if they're related. Like, it could be this elderly man died like 100 years ago, and then the boy in the bedroom was like 10 years ago. Maybe he died making a sandwich? Yeah, maybe. Like, why would he be in the kitchen? We might find some lore on it, though. Because there, uh, there are, like, pages that explain stuff. So while I'm looking for EMF, I should probably look for those, too. Oh, that's cool. Nothing here. What? Did I just hear a door close? I think I did. Any lore in here, though? What? What? Did I turn that on? Where are these? Do you hear these bells? In the basement, they're always. You're right. They're always in the basement. There's always something in the basement. Okay, am I going crazy, or were there actually bells? Okay, so we do have temperature readings. We do have paranormal EMF. Okay, we have all the evidence. Um, although, is there any more lore we can get? I should, this is a piece of paper. No, I cannot grab that.
There is no upstairs. Can I ask it something? Why are you here? Why the kitchen? Why are you in the kitchen? Why are you here? I think that's enough. So, we can go. Uh, I'll leave the lights on for you guys. Might be too dark in there for you guys. Anyways. I have all the evidence. Was I supposed to get more? Your investigator obtained evidence on the mentioned device. To revolt this consist, uh, consisted with the haunted locations. Generally, more investigations are required to determine the nature of the haunting. Oops. Okay, I guess I was supposed to look for more audio. I need to talk to them more, yeah. But oh well. I did it, at least. Paranormal mirror right here. Oh yeah, this merch exists in real life as well. I think that's pretty cool. And this museum reminds me of Forewarned. If I completed that mission, I should get a uh, new email. If not... Oh. I was supposed to look for more evidence. Sure, a better investigation. Uh, audio, yeah. What's a relic? Got a lot of pictures, barely any audio. Oh well, I uh, I think I'll get off now. My phone's running out of batteries, and yeah. I got a few jump scares more than yesterday, at least. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Here. We have archives on Polk Street. Actually, let's read some lore. It was built in 1953. Sold for 50k. Sold for 100k. Sold for 115. Alright. Divorce agreement. Wagner. Wagner. Helen Wagner. Okay, I can't read this. I'm going to get closer. 1906 to 1964. New... New Elidaton. Helen Wagner, age 58, at Polk Street, died peacefully in sleep at home on Friday, November 13th. I can't read it. Oh, I didn't need you... I'm here. David Allen, 1984 to 2015, age of 31, Washington Street, died on Tuesday, August 11, 2015, unexpectedly while spending time with friends. Okay, no, no suicides like last time. Police report. Okay, this is higher quality. 1995. April 23rd at 5.50 p.m., dispatch received a call from resident on Polk Street stating that they heard a loud, angry screaming from the house next door and loud bangs shortly thereafter. The caller stated they wanted to remain anonymous. I arrived at the residence at around 6.02 p.m., and a woman answered the door. She identified herself as Deborah Allen and remained calm and respectful while we discussed. I asked if anyone else was home, and she replied that her stepson was in his room. I asked if I could talk with him, and she asked her, answered yes. The boy identified himself as David Allen and said he was 10 years old. 
he appeared to have been crying and had fresh scratches on both sides of his neck. Oh, God. But when I inquired about my observation, he said his allergies were bothering him and he had no idea how he got the scratches. I did not press him further. I asked Deborah about my observations of David and she replied, You know how boys are. They're always uh, roughhousing or something. She denied having anything to do with Tara's uh, scratches. Actions taken informed the residents at Oak Street. Okay. Not enough evidence to confirm in Sarah's crime. Okay. So, man in garage throwing stuff. David Allen. I guess that's... Then we have... No, Dave, David Allen is a man. 1995, but he died in 2015. It's a police report of the same guy from 1995. But we have Helen Wagner. We have David Allen. Where's the elderly man? We haven't found anything on the elderly man. David Allen can't be the boy, though, because he died uh, at the age of 31. January 14th, 1984 to August 11, 2015. Divorce agreement, Charles Allen with Lynn Allen. Helen was loved. Wagner's look happy. All right, well, time to go home. Well, that was great. Uh, let's see if, then I w uh, if there's anyone I can raid. All right, I like it a lot. A paranormal PI or Apex? Paranormal is a smaller game, so it's probably easier to find a streamer, right? Okay. Let's just raid this guy. Thanks for joining in. I'll stream more often. And yeah, see you guys. Goodbye, doggo. Thanks for joining.